a sneaking expect today, another operating system based on Ubuntu called Bodhi or Bodhi, whatever you want to call it. Now it's uh, the Ubuntu 10.04, so a nice extended release or long term service release or whatever you want to call it, but within the Lightroom desktop. Now, download is reasonably small because it doesn't come with anything, it's a build yourself distro basically. In the day, some of you may like that, especially in the Ubuntu world because sometimes it just comes with all the rubbish you don't want. So you get usual bar at the top, a nice little desktop. I don't like the wood design personally, that is just me, but you can install millions of others. Okay, you get Firefox terminal and your home folder or home folder. Here we are, in the entire network installed by the way, it's not known from the live CD. So that's pretty crucially awesome, as we say. Now, you can get the menu up there if you want to, but we don't want to do that, do we? We just left click the desktop and you get the same thing come up, so that's even easier, really. Accessories get elementary configuration, elementary test, and terminal, internet, Firefox, and network manager. That's all you get. And Office, I've installed this personally, it's Abbey Word, just to make sure Synaptic working it all installed all right and everything like that. So, yeah, all installed all right, super duper. We're going to help just make sure what version it is. Now it's only 2.8.2, so it's not the most current, but it does the job it says on the DIN, as we say. So, places we've seen that, and we've got that there, run everything. You can change your virtual desktops and your shelves. Remember, it's run on the shelf system here. That's another video all to itself right, about enlightenment. Now, we'll just let, let this run for a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. It just tells you about all the people who contributed, blah de blah de blah de blah. Now I recognise some of the names here, so it's a pretty good team it seems so. Let's scroll a bit longer, that's enough of that. So we get rid of that, open up our menu once more. And we'll go down, we've just done that didn't we? Don't do any more do we really? And change your f There's only one theme at the moment as well, I've got to tell you that bit. Under settings, you get settings panel, etc. Now you get a lot of this duplicated throughout the menu at the moment. Maybe that will change because it is only a beta at the moment. Now there's another enlightenment thing, you can add your gadgets and your tools and the bits and bobs and your icons to your bars or whatever. It's so configurable, it's unbelievable. If you've seen my videos on MacPup, you'll know what I mean. So anyway, go down the bottom of the system, uh, sorry, settings right down the bottom, you get some more. Duplicates things again, but other stuff do. Apps and applications, favourite applications, etc. You can put all different stuff in these things, so that's no problemo, inputs. We'll go on and on. I'm not going to go on too long. Got to make it too long a video. It's only a beta. So you can do all that there and do all that there and that there and that there. Do your modules again. Everything like that. Yeah. So that's all that nearly out of the way. Now in system at the end, you get auto login, synaptic, install. So if you want to install it, that's where the install icon is. But I'm going to go to synaptic just to make sure it all works again and it wasn't just a fluke that I'd done it the first time around. Now remember, you don't get any applications whatsoever with this, whatsoever. So all you get is like Firefox, and that's it. So, hmm, you're going to need to start installing some stuff, really. But the, the idea of this is, it's a base system, and you just install what you want at the end of the day. So what am I going to do? Well, we're going to look for a music player, I think. So we're going to exhale. I'm not particularly fond of it, but, you know, it's all right. I just remember I just spelt that wrong, and I? So I ain't going to find that whatsoever, is it? What a wally. So I'll go back to search again, and we'll get rid of that. You could have M-Player, you could have Rhythmbox, you could have whatever you like, M-Player. No, I won't have M-Player. We'll just go and get the good old VLC, because it does everything. You can always change it at a later date if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. So we're going to scroll down, and we should, in theory, find VLC about there. There you go. All we do, as you know, is basic synaptic mark for installation. It finds all dependencies that you really want. You mark them. You know, all you do then is hop up over to apply. You say yes, I want to apply that. And there's 28 mega stuff, so that's quite a bit. Now, you could be waiting here sometime if you've got a bad connection. So I have actually cut this bit of the video, otherwise you'd be sitting here looking at some paint drying. So there you go. It's all done. It's now going to start installing. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. You can actually install this on a layer machine, by the way. It doesn't need as much RAM as the other Bantus, so that's pretty good also. Also, also the awesome, even. So, yeah, that's all done. Let's make sure. Reload. Lovely. Done. Close. Go menu. Applications. Internet. Sound and video. VLC. Job done. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? <clears throat> 
Okay, there we are. VLC media player is in the box. All ready for you to use. So, you know, it is really a base, base, base distro. A lot of the other distros you get, they do actually come with some stuff. No, this doesn't come with anything except your browser. Which is how they make the, the, the actual ISO smallish for alignment. Now, if I'm to the website, Bodhi Linux, sorry, I got carried away there. It tells you all about it. It's a nice animated screen as well. I was quite impressed by that. That's nice. It tells you all about it. And you can get all the info here that you want to. I'm going to show you a couple more things from the website while we're here, by the way. So you know, if you want to have a look, you know where to go to before you install it, or download it from here, or you can get it from DistroWatch, or other things. Now, it only needs a 300 big processor, 128 mega RAM, and a gig and a half of hard disk space. Now, I think that's pushing it just a little bit. You need a little bit better than that. I mean, it might run on it. It wouldn't be particularly fast, but I'm going to try and find the one that old to see if it does actually run, because I've got a few of them. So yeah, anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Scroll down. Why Ubuntu, and why have you not used Debian base or another base? Well, it's because Ubuntu is pretty stable at the end of the day, isn't it? Pretty stable, and people know what they're doing with it, if they're not, it's easy to use. So yeah, that's pretty okie dokie dokie. So with all the team members down there again, that one obviously see earlier. Excuse my voice, it's about to go. Have a little good drink here, hang on a second. Yeah, <clears throat> that's better. So that's all you need. So you can go to get a booty, not a bod high. There's a direct version and there's a torrent version. They suggest torrented. <clears throat> I use the direct version, it was fine for me, no big deal. So get software. Now this is a bit different, I've seen some other distros do this. Basically, you can actually install your, your applications that you want from the website. Now, I didn't have a good look through um, Synaptic to see if all these are actually in Synaptic and they're just giving, doing a link. I didn't actually have a look at that, but hey, we'll come to that another time. So I'll click on Webcam, okay? And it's got two webcam programs. It's got Cheese, which is in Ubuntu anyway, isn't it? About web browser. Change the web browser. Oh, look, we have Le Homme. So we're going to give this a go. So I'll click it. Now basically all you do is click on install now. So I'll click on install now, the green button. There you go. And we wait and wait. Oh, here we go. Lovely jabbling. Click install here. And in theory, it should start installing it all for us. Now, obviously it needs to download some more stuff. There we go. Some 16 mega stuff. So we wait, we wait, we wait. A bit longer. So I'm going to cut that bit of the video just like that. And there we go. All downloaded. Now all we've got to do is wait for it to install, which doesn't take too long really. Zoom, zoom in through there, no big deal. Lovely, I likey, likey. Oh, no, it's getting slow now, what's going on? Come on, hurry up. Come on. That's better. I thought it would be fine, I'd be back so then. So we'll close that. That's all closed. Now in theory that should be installed on our system. So let's go and find out if it actually worked, shall we? So we're going to open up the menu, left click again on any part of the desktop, Internet, there we have it. Chromium web browsers, all there. Lovely. Pretty fast. Covers the whole screen this one as well, which is pretty nice. That's all I rather liked about that. Super duper. Maybe get all your extensions, and if you like Chromium, you'll stick with it, obviously. But obviously, there's other browsers out there if you want to look at them. You can learn about me, eh? Blah, 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 blah. That's enough of that, really. Right. Bodhi Linux, or Bodhi with Enlightenment. What do I think? I think it's pretty good actually. Something a little bit different, that's why I don't mind doing this one, even if it's bun to base. But that's okie dokie by me. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.